So good afternoon, friends. Myself Sachin Thakur. I am working as assistant professor in USND Group of College Yola, and I have to teach you the computer network security. Different types of wireless network is the single hop, multiple hop. So single hop is the base station should be connected to the larger wire network, for example, Wi-Fi, wireless LAN, and cellular telephone network. Infrastructure less station, no wired network. Once node coordinate the transitions of other, for example, Bluetooth and the ad hoc 802.11. Then multiple, multi hop base station exists, but some nodes must rely through the other's node. Wireless sensor network and wireless mesh network is there. Infrastructure less like no base station exist and some nodes must relay to the others. For example, mobile ad hoc network like Pecular and ad hoc networks. Wi-Fi 802.11, wire 11 wireless LAN. It should be the 802.11, PSS1, PSS2, access provider is there. Then a central device like hub switch or router is there that should be connected there. So this is the architecture of the 802.11 LAN that access provider should be sent the re reply. Now that should be sent to the base station, base service station for the re acknowledgement. So let us study, let us consider this access point is the base station to communicate with the wireless host. To communicate with the wireless host, we have to give the access point is the basic service station in the coverage of the access point. Access point acts the matter identified by the network name known as SSID, service set identifier. Channel and associations. Multiple channel has the different frequencies like network administrator choose the frequency from the access provider. Interference if channel is the same as the neighboring access point, access point same periodic because same containing the access point name like SSID and SSID and MAC addresses. Host scans the channel listening to be become same. Host select an access point associated with each other. A base station, then service stations is there, then we have to access that data from the access point. Become frame from the access point, associated request from the host, associated response from the access point. So what is the mobility within the same subnet? That should be explained in this slide, right? Like router, hub or switch is there, the access point is to access there and should send to the basic service station. H1 remain in the same IP subnet. IP address of host can remain same, then ongoing data transfer can continue uninterrupted. H1 recognize the need to change. H1 detect the weakening signal, start scanning from the stronger one, changes access point with the same SSID. H1 disassociated from others and association with others. Switch learn new location. Self-learning mechanism is there. So this is all about the within the same subnet that H1 remains in the IP subnet. Internet protocol address with the host remains the same. Ongoing data transfer and continue uninterrupted. Then R1 recognize the need to change. H1 detect the weakening signals, they start scanning for the stronger one. Changes access point within the same SSID, like H1 disappearance from one and associated with others. Switch learn new locations. Now, what is CSME? Carrier signal multiple access. That should be multiple access channel is shared medium like station, wireless host or the access point, multiple stations may want to transmit at the same time. Carrier sends 
sends channel before sending like station doesn't send with the channel pg to protect the collision ongoing transfer but detecting the ongoing transfer isn't always possible like a to b and b to c here we have to given that multiple access point channel is shared medium like station wireless host or access point multiple stations may be want to transmit at the same time carrier sends exchange channel becoming sending station doesn't send when the channel is fixed. to prevent collision to prevent the collision within the ongoing transfer but detecting the ongoing transfer isn't always possible so ca the collision access is avoidance not detection collision detection is wire ethernet like station listen while transmitting the data detect the collision with other transmission and about transmission and tries the setting again problems like cannot detect and collision hidden terminal problem is there and heading is there problem two is the listening while the sending strength of receiving signal is much smaller receiving signal strength is much smaller explain to build hardware at detect collision so we have to study the collision avoidance not detection collision detection is wire ethernet we should be used into the ethernet era but to avoid the collision avoidance we have to use the problems i cannot detect the all this should be hidden problem and fading the problem to is the listening while sending this all about the collision access let let us consider medium access control a to and l collision avoidance not detections one station start transmission send it inquiry entirely more aggressive aggressive collision avoidance technique for example waiting waiting a little after sense an ideal channel to reduce the likelihood to station transmit at once link layer acknowledged at the transmission crc crc to detect error then the receiving station sends an acknowledgement sending station transmit if the acknowledgement is received giving up a few held transmission next part we can study in the next lecture